Hi guys. Um, I can't like shake this feeling from the Libra Caesar reading this loneliness. I just can't seem to shake it and you know I want to get in bed and go to sleep and rest and whatever. Um, but it's just stayed with me today and I just wanted to talk maybe more about it um like it's a saturday night previously on saturday nights i would be out with my sisters um partying and i mentioned this in the no friends video as well like you're not missing anything at the party um because you're trying to get your life together you know those eight hours of sleep are just as important as you know the eight hours of working you're gonna do um so yeah it really stuck with me i'm just gonna shuffle the cards because i just i just do like oh it flipped over yeah flipped over yeah <laughs> the eight hours of work right can we see eight of pentacles eight of wands and ten of swords you know when we get into the end of the work spiritually that we put in and the ten of swords when you felt that betrayal but it's also you got the message you got the lesson from the betrayal like to i need to work on myself i need you know things in my life to turn around and be better now like you really received this message here um and it probably took this really painful thing here i mean look at this card like how many knives did you have in your back how many times did you go through this how many people is this all the people that you've got rid of now or had to get rid of they just drained you so you had to go through this death and when i say go through a death um i really and truly mean it feels like a death doesn't it when you're going through it like the death of who you used to be like when i said who i used to be was somebody fun loving nothing wrong with that um nothing wrong with all the stages that we all go through but then the loneliness I think it's sticking with me because it's like what do people want to replace it with you know what's next for you it's like I'm picking up people who just seem to be you know I'm working on myself but I haven't quite had these new people come in and I've started to have new friends come in but what gets to me is I remember the lonely times you know when you really want to communicate with somebody you really want that offer You know, and you really want people to see how worthy you are. So if I'm so great, why aren't I getting these offers yet? Because I'm working on myself here. Why does it still feel 
but you go through these ups and these downs and these waves of energy that we get and these shifts of energy and you can go from feeling wonderful to feeling down because of the waiting. That's what somebody just commented to me. The waiting is just, can feel endless when you're really focused on I'm waiting and that's what I mean by, you know, if you're out and you're waiting for something or, you know, you're really focused on something and the time can really drag. I'm like waiting till this date and it can take a really long time. And then when you're having fun on that day, it can fly by. The waiting for the offer to, for somebody to take notice of you. Yeah, it's hurtful. It's like revisiting the tower and remembering the betrayal here, remembering the, how badly people treated you. When you focus on that, it's like reliving it all again. So it didn't just happen to you once. It happens to you every time you think about it sorts of thoughts so you could relive it and it could cause the same sort of emotional damage to your body your spirit because you're reliving these this tower moment because nobody has come in yet so how do we do how do we get past this how do we get through this loneliness and You know, rather than going back and reliving that trauma, justice, you know, when's it going to be fair? <laughs> if I'm doing the work, I'm doing the good stuff. The thing about karma, um, so why aren't the ones who are out there doing bad stuff getting their karma? When you are on raising your vibration, ascending, what you're essentially doing is clearing your karma quicker because you're now aware of it. So it may seem like, well, I keep seeming to get more karma, but that's because you're aware and you're clearing it faster. And these people, are just going about their life, putting crap on other people like this, and they're not getting their karma. So why is it I'm the one doing the work, but I'm the one who bad stuff seems to be happening to? Why am I getting this karma? Because when you're working on clearing your karma, you're a higher vibration and it will come in and clear quicker. It doesn't mean that, you know, you deserve it more than other people. We've come to um, this 3D world to clear our karma. So those who seem to be not getting their karma, you know, bad people um, who seem not to be, well, why aren't the karma come to them yet? Um, because they're not ascending, okay? They're not clearing any karma. They'll have to do all this again in another position and, um, you know, like worse things will happen to them. So they're creating the karma and when they go to their next life, they will have stacked up lots of karma. So maybe they'll be the one who's betrayed by a lover, for example, if they're doing that to you and racking up more karma. Um, I just um, put it to love because of the channel, but yeah, I was just really trying to tune into this energy of this loneliness and people, you know, who feel like they're working hard on themselves, they're being a good person. And other people who are not being a good person, in their opinion, is not getting their karma. 
the lovers. Why aren't I getting, you know, this romance of a lifetime? I keep seeing so many general reads that say, an offer's coming, communication's coming, work hard on yourself. And you're like, I am working hard. <laughs> I'm waiting for this person or a person, somebody who I can love and share my life with and shit keeps happening. It's like, boom, clean you did another karmic thing, but that's kind of annoying because something happened to my car, something happened to my house, something like out of nowhere came in and boom, here's another hurdle, here's a legal matter. Here's, you know, a divorce coming in. Why is this happening when I'm working on myself? Because you are ascending and you are working on yourself. So you're clearing your karma quicker. So the Page of Cups. You wanted a mes message of reassurance, an apology, I'm sorry. Why can't they at least say sorry? Why can't they say something? You know, something is better than nothing. Why can't they just, why can't I just get this message, the, an actual physical message? I'm getting tired of seeing the signs. I want a physical message. I want this person to tell me even if it's not right now, that we're working towards something here. So I, I, I'm feeling like I, you want a physical show that somebody is coming forward to you. Somebody is, you know, coming into your life. You want to see it in your physical life right now. Or even a damn apology would be good, right? Five of Wands, that inner conflict, that stage of, do I want my ex back? No, I don't. Yes, I do some days. No, I don't. Do I want to work this job? It's holding me back, but yeah, I need the money. Should I keep on this path? Is this spiritual work I'm doing? Is it correct? Am I on the right path here? Is there something else I should be doing? No, I'm doing great. No, I shouldn't. I should keep on it. Why am I feeling lonely? Do I want somebody in my life? Yeah, I'm kind of bored on evenings. Um, but okay. In the daytime, I'm happy. I'm working. I'm hot. You know, I love to be around people. I love my solitude. It's that inner conflict that this is this. So what, what, what is this feeling I'm feeling? Do I, don't I, will I, won't I? And to top it off, there's people who are just picking petty arguments with me for no reason. I can go to the shop and somebody will annoy me. Or I can be driving and this is road rage. People just seem to be coming out of the woodwork to argue with me. Seven of Pentacles. So I've been planting the seeds. I've been manifesting. I've been really doing a lot of gardening here, plucking the weeds from my life, kicking out people who are not worthy of my time, you know, taking out negative thoughts here. And nothing's growing. 
I'm still waiting. Where is what I was promised? Where is it? What I was promised, where is it? Because here nothing's growing. And I've been working hard. This is a farmer who's been working hard non-stop. You've been working hard. And it's getting tiring putting up with, you know, petty arguments. You know, when you just want people to be decent with you here. To show a little bit of respect. You know, take notice what I'm going through, what I've been through. I just want to see some results here. And I don't feel like I'm asking for much because all I'm asking for is a damn page. I'm asking for a message to say, yes, you are doing well. Oh my God, I'm sorry for being such an idiot and causing these arguments with you. It was petty. It was my fault. You, you know, people being accountable for their own actions here. But those people are not coming through. You feel like, you know, is the divine even coming through at this point? Because I'm not seeing anything growing. I'm stood here waiting, watching the ground. Well, if you watch the clock, the slower it feels, right? Sorry, I'm shaking the camera because I'm just sat on my bed. This is just my rambles. It was just like this feeling I couldn't shake. It's like speaking for somebody, somebody wanting to get it out but not wanting to put this negativity because, you know, they've put so much work into manifesting so they it needs to come out. So I'm speaking it out for them here. The higher effect, there you go. Like, I am angry at the divine. Where's my reward? Come on. You're divinely guiding me. I'm having faith. Please let me see a reward. Let me see some growth here. Just, that's all I'm asking. Just a little bit. Okay? Just a little bit. So it is a very divine lesson. Patience is a virtue, right? So we're told... It's very hard to be patient in a time where we live where everything is um, instant, instant messages. We can order food instantly. We can do everything instantly. It's just so we have the seven of wands and the six of pentacles. OK, so what I'm asking for is the people to treat me the same way I treat them. You know, if I'm treating them with respect or with honesty, I just want them to treat me back minimum like that. But you keep coming up against these challenges, these people resisting, these people um, giving to more than one person, these people who are, you know, in it for themselves here and expecting you to self-sacrifice, expecting you to keep giving to them expecting you to keep draining yourself or they have an issue. So, like, all you're wanting here with the Six of Pentacles is a positive input. As much as you put in, you're not asking for no more, no less. You want what you put in to come back. Okay? And it seems like you're met with challenges or resistance or it feels like challenges and resistance. It's like you could be spreading yourself too thin. Like if you're the one having to do everything and nobody seems to be helping you here, then you could be spreading yourself too thin, self-sacrificing, having to maybe take care of the family and provide the money and, um, you know, do everything here. Maybe you go to work, you clean the house, you cook the food. 
doesn't matter about gender, men do this as well. And it just feels like, okay, every time I feel like I'm over one hurdle, I'm met with another hurdle here, you know? Um, it's like another karmic cycle comes through here. Like, I'm working hard. Just give me a break. And if anything, I, I just want an offer of um, a connection. Why am I being met with resistance in this connection, in this offer? Another seven. So the seven of swords, as well as, um, you know, being lies and deception and cheating and things like that. Let's look at it as swords energy. Um, so thoughts and um, talking and things like that. That's what I was saying. I feel like I'm picking up somebody's energy who's at the point where they've been working so hard so they don't want to speak out negatively because that's what we're told, right? When manifesting, speak positive, um, you know, and you'll bring in more positive and that. So it's like you're keeping this inside, you know, you're... It, but it's becoming a negative, okay, when you're keeping this thoughts inside it's like self-deception and things like that yeah it still is people trying to pull a fast one on you in your life here people still gonna try it just because you're improving doesn't mean people won't still try it but it just means here this will come out it's very clear to see in this seven of swords you know you just see them more quickly and i don't feel like you know it's hurting you the same but it could just be like I'm tired of these sort of people and it's hurtful that it keeps coming in when I'm trying to be on this divine path. I want the divine to send in better people when instead, you know, I'm ending up with people who just want to keep taking and being these energy vampires here. These liars, these people who just want to take and take and take. So here I feel like it's becoming um, a mental strain as well okay like um negative thoughts like building up so if you've been positive for a long time and then you you're not seeing um you know the results you want to be seeing here it you can start to build up these negative thoughts and um start going more one way than the other you know, like, oh, well, it's not working out for me. Oh, well, it's some, I'm doing something wrong and things like that. Rather than, you know, understanding divine timing. You know, it's always in play. Everything happening for a reason. If you're waiting for an offer or a soulmate to come into your life, we have to wait till that soulmate's ready, you know, in their life and whatever's going on. You may have not even met them yet, so you have no idea what's going on in their life. OK, so, you know, waiting for somebody else to be ready. This is why you have to really get out there and enjoy life so that, you know, time passes you by. And if you expect to meet somebody, really, you have to get out there, um, even if it's. Um, I don't, whatever you're interested in, you've just got to go out and do because you're going to meet like minded people. If you sat at home. You know, telling yourself, okay, I'm going to wait for this soulmate and I'm going to wait for this offer, but you're not out in the world. How are you going to meet the soulmate for an offer? You're deceiving yourself. So it's, he's carrying five swords. So I feel like it's the sort of thought process seems to be lose lose, like, oh, I can't speak on it. So it's not getting out of you that it's staying inside. But I like to, um, think of my mind like <clears throat> a garden so once these negative thoughts start coming in I want to pluck them out okay I want to pluck that weed and I want to say okay um I'm, at, I'm thinking this I'm feeling this voice it out and then you know just be like okay I'm plucking that weed that's not how it is that's how I'm feeling today I've acknowledged how I feel today there's nothing wrong with that I'm just going to get rid of it though you know, I'm not going to hold on to 
this many thoughts and then it's starting to lie to myself oh well I'm failing oh well I'm this no because in reality you're not failing you're actually a long way from where you was when you began on this journey and that's why I always want to tell you be proud of yourself I'm proud of you guys it's so hard it's so so hard so yeah definitely be proud of yourself <laughs> Ta -da, I'm proud of myself. The fool. It's coming, that new beginning. And this video was just like, it was like rambling. It had to come out of me sort of thing. And that's what I want you guys to do with this um, seven of swords. You know, ramble it all out and just clear it all out of you so that you get to start a new day fresh. Like, okay i felt a bit crappy it's okay you know but i'm back on it i'm feeling renewed i'm feeling refreshed here things do take time um you know and i'm waiting for this positive influence and there are people in the world who are gonna annoy me at times because <laughs> that's just how people are isn't it um so yeah i really want you to be like this fool A wise man knows himself to be a fool because we're learning something new all the time. We don't have all the answers here. You're not supposed to know it all. We're supposed to jump and have that leap of faith and understand that we will be caught. So I feel like getting back to hope here and pride in yourself and uh you know just real okay that was a little bump in the road it was a minor little tower moment um but i'm ready to go at it again here okay that's the importance of um cleansing your thoughts as well and getting it out and it's important to speak um it's okay not to be okay here in the UK we have um, a charity and I just seen it actually um, I just went to like these arcades with my sons and um, it's a charity with a finger like this and um, it's saying it's okay to not be okay like and it's a mental health line um, for men and young boys who maybe in this society find it you know more difficult to express themselves or don't want to appear weak in front of their friends and um, things like that so it's kind of like that it's okay to get it out of you and pluck those weeds and those thoughts out don't keep it in so that they build up within you and you start to believe them because they're not true it's a lie these thoughts are you know society may be getting in your head like i can't do it there's too much of this this and this but you can do it okay you can do it don't deceive yourself and as this video was just about rambling and getting it out there that it's okay you know um and not everybody's out partying like i said i'm here with you guys um so i might do this publish this video as a premiere and you guys we can talk in the comments if you like um i was gonna do a live um but it wasn't really a video directed at anybody so I hope it helps in some way. I don't think any more cards want to come, but let's see. Leads to the Empress, an abundant new beginning, right? So when you take a chance, you got to take a chance and it'll be worth it. Abundance with love, new beginnings here, um, really being on top of your game so much growth so much beauty here 
Okay? Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.